Okay, in this video, we're going to start to download and install the different tools that we're going to need throughout this course. And we're going to need three or four different things. Uh, they're all free, so uh, that's cool. But we're just going to knock these out one at a time. In this video, we're going to look at installing Python. So just go to python.org. And I should say, if you have Python on your computer already, it's probably a good idea to uninstall it and reinstall it. And I'll show you why in just a minute. Uh, if you're on a Mac or Linux, you're going to want to update. A lot of Mac and Linux come with Python already, but it's a very old version of Python that you do not want to use. So you want to be using Python version 3 and above. And Mac and Linux computers often come with Python 2. So we don't want that. So it's always a good idea to install this. If you already have Python on your Windows computer, I'm going to I hit I just clicked on my Windows start menu and clicked uh, control panel and then just go down to uninstall a program. And let's find Python. And I'm just going to really quickly uninstall this just to show you how to do it. It just takes a second. We might as well. Uh, it's, it's really a lot better to do this. And I'll show you why in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video while this goes and uh, uninstalls. And then we'll pick up right when it finishes. OK, so I went ahead and finished uninstalling. We can close that. If you look, there's also this Python launcher. Um, if you want to uninstall that too, you can. It's not probably a big deal. I'll go ahead and do that just because. As you can see, it isn't taking quite so long. And boom, that's gone. So once that's gone, we can head over to python.org and just click the download button right here at the top. And you can see we can download for Windows. It knows I'm on a Windows computer. If you're on a Mac or Linux, it'll give you the Mac or Linux version. And you can see Python 3.7.0. That's the current version. If it's a different version by the time you watch this video, that's perfectly fine. Just download the latest version and you should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now we can save this anywhere. I'm just going to save it on my Windows desktop. And it's not very large, 24.3 megabytes. It downloads on my computer almost instantly. So go ahead and click this and let's open this. Okay, so here it says install Python. Now this is the important part. See down here, it says add Python 3.7 to path. And this is unchecked by default. This is why I told you to uninstall Python if you already had it on your computer, because chances are last time you installed it, you didn't notice this little checkbox and you just click next like people do. But we really want this checked. Adding Python 3.7 to the path means in Windows at least, uh, that you can run Python from anywhere on the computer. And we really want to do that, so it's very important to check that little box. If you don't check it, all kinds of problems can happen, and we just don't <laughs> want to deal with that. So go ahead and make sure that's checked, and then click the Install Now button. And initializing. So this is going to take just a second. Um, I think while this is going, oh, no, it's going fast. Well, in the meantime, while that's doing this, I also want to show you, let's head over to Sublime Text, and just search for it at Google. And you see the sublimetext.com. This is the text editor I'm going to be using throughout this course. Now you can use any text editor you want. It absolutely doesn't matter as long as it's a coding text editor. You know, uh, Atom is a popular one. Um, what are some other ones? Notepad++ is a popular one. Sublime is super, super popular. It's absolutely free. and uh, I recommend it highly. So go ahead and download and install this if you want to follow along and use the same text editor. I'm not going to show you how to download and install this. It's just a basic text editor. You just click the button and click the button again and it'll install for you. But you can go ahead and do that yourself. In the meantime, let's check back and see how our Python is going. Oh, almost done. So I will go ahead and pause the video while this finishes up. Should be just a second. And we will, oh, oh, there it goes. Almost done. I will pick up as soon as it finishes. Okay, so setup was successful. Everything looks okay. Go ahead and click close. And that's it. We're done. We're ready to use Python now. Um, so in the next video, I think we'll start to install something called Git Bash. I'll tell you what that is and why we need it. And that'll be in the next video.